Alright, what is up guys? It's the start of episode 3 of our Singapore tour walkthrough in Mario Kart Tour. It is the 7th day of the tour. Today is Tuesday, it's 18th of January as I am recording this recording part. And let's just jump straight into the today's challenge. We have Daisy Swimwear on Singapore Speedway T in the Baby Luigi Cup. The game also gave me the Bad Wagon as well as the Blooper... Uh, I'm not sure what's the proper name of that uh, glider, but it is the blooper something. I think it is the blooper wingtip. Let's see if I'm correct. Yep, blooper wingtip. All right, got that in the very last second. Right, Singapore Speedway T. I I do remember we've played this course before in the very first cup of this tour, which is also currently the still the first week of the rank cup, and we're actually gonna be coming into the second week uh, just tomorrow. Alright, we got that uh, red shell hit onto Baby Luigi. So, we still don't have a top shell glider, unfortunately. I guess. And actually, I will not also have a top shell driver. Of course, Daisy Swimwear here, if you guys do not have her, you can definitely get her up in the uh, tour banner. I think it's this week. Oh, uh, she did not mean to do that. So lots of combo there, but no big deal. We're still in the front of the pack. Alright, no frenzies, but we'll take this first place finish with a total score of 12,276 points. Oh, I accidentally uh, spam tapped through that, but let's see the TCP for 7th day here today, and it's going to be 10,000 coins. Ooh, that's quite a lot. And we have another tour challenge done. Let's see what this tour challenge is. It's gonna be in the total points challenge, yep. 600,000 points threshold, 1,000 coins, and one cart skill up high end ticket. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I wanted to see the high score, so 11,000 for five stars. Alright, and now moving on into Donut Plains 1RT. Okay, kinda want to use Chef Mario level 3. We have the Gold Train level 5 as well as the level 5 Egg Shell Glider. Is it Egg 1? I think the Egg 1 is for the cart, so I think the glider is Egg Shell Glider, I think. But anyways, now let's jump straight into the race right now. Alright, that could have been easily a banana frenzy, but okay, I got wrecked by that painter Luigi in his Mega Mushroom. I'm gonna take advantage of these dash rings. And now on to the gliding session. And from this item box, we're gonna be getting double green shells. Could have been a green shell frenzy, I mean, wink wink. But apparently the game just doesn't want to give me frenzies right now, so yeah, we'll just... Uh, oh, okay, the green shell actually hit Rosalina there from the, you know, the reflections off the walls. So that's actually a really nice one right there. Now we're in the second lap, and let's see if we can actually get any frenzies in this race or not. So I think that was quite a, quite a rough middle part of the race there. We got absolutely wrecked, and I'm going to be absolutely wrecked from my own bomb right there. So not able to do anything about that, but it looks like three people got hit with my bomb right there, which is amazing. And okay, finally a bl uh, banana frenzy, and almost... Then I just touched the ground after I glided there and somehow I was able to kind of pull up and still maintain air time. But there we go, second place, we got 14,572 points. Alright, my gold train levels up to 430. 6.4k for 5 stars, 18 coins and 6 tokens. Alright, now on to Smash More Dry Bones, the challenge race for this cup we are going to be playing as Waluigi in 3DS Bowser's Castle. So I'm pretty sure this challenge is actually new for this course specifically. I mean, we know that this course just got released last tour, which was roughly around a week or, no, I mean like three weeks ago when the tour debuted. 
So, uh, yeah, I definitely never played this one before, so let's see how this one goes. 8 Dry Bones, as usual, for the 1 star requirement. I think we're just gonna predict, like, maybe around 12 or 15 for the 3 star requirement. Okay, I was able to get most of the Dry Bones right there, and now I'm gonna get smashed with the Thwomp. Okay, uh, definitely not what I wanted to go for, but I guess... Uh, we can. It kind of buys us a few more time to kind of you know get in lines to get the dry bones. Oh, missed the dry bones right there. Quite unfortunate. Okay, also missed another one right there by a pixel, but we're still in the good track. Alright, perfect sequence right there. Got most of the dry bones, and just as I said that, I missed that one or two dry bones here we have the final uh, turn right here gonna get most of them maybe can I get can I get 30 for this challenge please ooh that's a lot that is so satisfying but apparently we are not gonna get that 30 because I think when you are gliding with the dry bones you are pretty much going the same speed so we're gonna get 28 and let's see the requirement for 3 stars and it will be 17 okay there is some high expectations usually there is low expectation from me for this challenge since it's usually always around 12 or 15 like that but there we go we are now done with the baby luigi cup coins to play the event for me today is hammer bro cup so i'm just gonna go on and jump into this cup here today we have sunset wilds tea Gonna of course use our level 3 Luigi Painter, we have the Fast Frank as well as the uh, New Year's Gold Kite, which I can still add more points to it. So let's go! Alright, now we're gonna be getting a level, not level, a uh, 4th place box. We got a lucky 7 right off the bat, which is nice. And I think this blooper will only catch on to uh, King bob -omb there. Yep, definitely. And now we're in 1st place. I used the mushroom right there. And another box. Let's see what we can get from this box right here. It's going to be double bananas and a coin. So, once again, almost could have gotten a banana frenzy, but the game just doesn't want me to. Now we're in the... I think this is the final box set for the first lap here. So we got double coins and a banana. Pretty much the opposite from the previous box. Could have gotten me a coin frenzy, but whatever. Now we are coming into the second lap as the sun sets in the horizon. And let's see what this box will give me. King Bob just hit my banana from what whenever. We got double coins again and a green shell. So yeah, still. The game just doesn't want to give me... A frenzy and I think my controls there just got uh, eaten and I was not able to get that proper drift okay and got hit by a red shell and a blue shell is gonna be coming for that Halloween Mario and he's gonna get comboed however that uh, blooper will not hit on to anyone and now we're coming into the final box set here and let's see what we can get from this box okay pretty mediocre box we're gonna get a banana and a green shell I'm gonna uh, you know, keep the banana and green shell behind me for in case of protection of any red shells that are coming. And there we go, first place finish with a total score of 20,534 points. Twelve thousand two hundred points for five stars, three hundred fifty-three coins, as well as eight tokens. Okay, now moving on to DK Pass. We are going to be using Donkey Kong, I guess, level 6 right there. And then we have the Flame Flyer level 7, as well as the level 5 Star Shoot. Alrighty, yo, DK Pass, one track that in some uh, points is going to be a very tight bend. So let's hope we, that we can actually get the the maximum of the you know the drifts and stuff because sometimes these uh, you know these turns right here is very uh, you know very extreme i would say that kind of allows you to sometimes miss the mini turbo out of your drift but okay here we go we got a giant banana frenzy this is gonna be total chaos for all the cpus behind because as we all know the giant bananas when you hit one 
it will actually split into more bananas and if you ha are having a high level driver like mine who is level 6 it will actually kind of split into more small bananas so uh, definitely the chain will actually just continue on in a blue shell unfortunately but as I was saying with the giant banana frenzy that I had earlier on uh, if uh, the CPU somehow did not hit uh, you know the split bananas eventually I will be getting I will be hitting them in this second lap here so let's see if I am able to evade those split bananas as I come to that part real soon so now we're in the second lap and we're in second place with this I think it's baby Rosalina in first place right here but I'm gonna get a box and let's see the chaos that we have laid down in the previous lap and ooh, lots of bananas and I already got hit with the very first banana split in that part right there and ooh, we can see a lot more bananas okay gonna have to uh, deactivate my drift there because of that big snowball and we have another blue shell oh my gosh but good thing I was able to uh, you know I was I was in second place when the blue shell comes so I w am able to kind of not get hit by the blue shell and we got a shock here unfortunately but we're still in first place we got another box here and it is, it is gonna be another giant banana frenzy so I guess it's definitely gonna be safe for us since we, it is already the final turn and unfortunately with some kind of handling uh, you know uh, errors there I was not able to go on the gliding boost but we'll take this first place finish with a total score of 30,421 points Nine thousand four hundred points for five stars, three hundred seventy-three coins, and thirteen tokens. And of course, now on to Toad Circuit T. We are gonna be playing as who do I want to use here? I think I want to go on and use uh, King Babam level four, and then we have the Golden Taxi or Yellow Taxi, I guess, as well as the Gold Glider level seven. Alright, so another trick very course, I am really excited to play these trick courses because how fun it is to actually see some uh, you know, of, of those trick animations of certain characters and of course that sound effect when you trick is gonna like always be there every second but okay, we're now currently in third place okay, now in first place because I used that mushroom there we're gonna get another box here and let's see what we can get from this box we get double coins and another banana now I'm currently invulnerable since I my banana just protected me from the red shell and I guess I got wrecked by a hammer. I think someone used a hammer within and and the bob bomb. I mean we saw the bob bomb was thrown in front of me, but I think I got hit by the hammer. So I'm not sure what actually actually happened there. But okay, oh we got a bob bomb and a giga bob bomb. I'm not sure if this is gonna be much of use. Well, definitely not gonna be much of use since I got shot. The, oh my god, and I got squished by Toadette and this is going very very bad for us right now currently in 6th place but can we actually make the comeback though? let's see if, if this box will give me some amazing items okay we got a mushroom frenzy I think this can definitely help us uh, through the little shortcuts right here in front of here right now and okay we are now immediately in 1st place and that will be a 1st place finish with a total score of 23,323 points and we did not even get to you know see what items we were gonna get from that final item box but okay first place is what matters 9,600.5 stars 332 coins and 5 tokens and now it looks like we have another total challenge done let's see what this one is all about this is gonna be in the total points challenge yep 700,000 points threshold that's gonna give us 3 rubies and 1 cut points cap up tickets for high ends and let's open up our tour gifts that we can open up right now. It's gonna be two boxes. It's gonna be those cart and driver tickets, specifically the point boost and skill up tickets for high ends. And I kind of just want to use my uh, grand star tickets to open up this box here. So it's gonna give us another 10 rubies, 300 coins, and the I think it's the 8 bit jumping Luigi glider. All right, so there we go. One of three, level three. And that's going to be about it for this recording. I'll see you guys tomorrow as we're going to be going through the Pauline Cup uh, one race per day. And I'll see you guys then. Mario Circuit 1R with Black Shy Guy. 
Alright guys, an intermission clip right here for you guys. This is where after I played a few of the multiplayer races and I'm able to grab most of the multiplayer related uh, challenges right here. So here we go, the Kart Pro Challenges. I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys. So as you guys can see, I'm actually missing one of the Kart Pro Challenges mission right there. It's going to be on the bottom left. But we'll be actually getting all of the other missions done. So I'm just going to have to go back into multiplayer sometime soon and grab that final one. And of course, each row will get you 300 coins as you guys can see on your screen. And of course, every of the Kart Pro Challenges mission right there will give you rubies. And now on to the regular Toro Multiplayer Challenges. I'm also going to grab most of them. Of course, besides the two missions right there on the top uh, right and the bottom right, which uh, of course I will be getting them as I play some more multiplayer races during my free time. So of course in this tour multiplayer ch challenges sheet, each row will get you 50 coins, which is pretty much the regular ones that we always have seen. And each of the missions will not get you rubies but instead grand star because this is basically the regular ones. But of course completing the sheet will definitely get you 5 rubies. Alright so these are the missions I'm missing land 3 hits with bob bombs Cause opponents to crash 30 times and join 10 multiplayer races. And I've only played 9 so far but now back to the main recording. Alright back again here today folks. It is the 19th of January. It is Wednesday so we're gonna be knowing our uh, you know, rank cut results for last week and now of course we're in week 2 of the Singapore tour, the second half of the tour. So now let's jump straight into the results screen and let's see where I was able to finish off. And I was able to finish off in first place and now my tier will be going up to tier 52. Let me get myself Purple Cooper free running right there. 40 rubies, 5 joy points, cap up tickets, super and normal and high ends of course. And of course 1000 coins from my friend's bonus. So I was able to get 67,423 points, 13.5k on Singapore Speedway T. 40k on DS World of RT and 13.7k on Singapore Speedway R. And I definitely did grind a lot on DS World of RT trying to get the perfect run with all the friends and stuff. And now on to my friends list ranking. Let's see where some of my friends get the highest score on. And looks like this WN him Snickel got 100,000, 34.9k on Singapore Speedway T and etc. What an amazing race by him right there. But now we are in week 2 of the Singapore Tour, so of course the second pipe is here. The Banners Festival Wings Pack as well as the Mario Sunshine Pack right there. And let's check out what is in the second pipe for the Singapore Tour. Luigi Painter, Build Luigi and Luigi Classic are in the spotlight. High end appearance rate at 12%. So we have Luigi Painter of course with the Lucky 7, I already have him. Build Luigi with the Hammer, I also have him as well. Luigi Classic which I do not have, he has the Lucky 7 as well. We have the Painster. We have the Black Dozer, Rocket Start Plus. We have the Decal Streamliner, Jump Boost Plus. The Flying Easel Blooper Plus. The Ship's Wheel, the Lightning Plus, as well as the Black Great Sail, the Bullet Bill Plus. So out of, in this uh, pipe, I have uh, three of them, which is Luigi Painter, Billy Luigi, and the Black Great Sail. So I might be able to do some pipe pulls in the future, who knows. But let's see the uh, specific details of this pipe. So of course, three high-end spotlights, each for driver cards and gliders. So that's nine spotlights altogether, and high regular high-ends, three total, which of course will technically bring up to twelve percent. But actually, if we actually look into the the chances for the regular high-ends, it's not even uh, you know one percent. But I guess if you actually total up everything that you can get out of the regular high-end pool then maybe it will total up to 1%. But anyway, let's jump into the shop and let's see some of the new stuffs this week other than the banners and the pipes uh, that we have already covered. So daily slits, I'm just gonna get uh, these tickets real quick, point boost tickets of gliders and drivers. And also gonna get that Wario Wing up to level 6. Alright, the favorite course new is gonna be Culinary Desert R. And now scrolling down onto the tier shop we have, ooh, we have high ends in the tier shop this week. We have Black Yoshi, which of course I'm gonna grab myself, of course, 12,000 coins. Not that bad, I mean I have, I am literally very rich right now. Off-roader, I'm also gonna grab this one as well, 10,000 coins. 
And we also have the Dry Bowser Umbrella, which also I'm gonna get 10,000 coins. So I'm gonna use all, most of my coins right there. And of course the regular tickets that you can normally see in the tier shop, as always. But now let's just jump straight into the today's challenge for today. We have a, uh, SNES Mario Circuit 1R Pauline Cup. We have Black Shy Guy. The game also gave me the B Dasher as well as the Peach Parasol Glider. Okay, starting off with a not a uh, non-stop combo, so I guess I'll just play it out right now. I've got double mushrooms in what I think. What, what, what box was that? I think, was it a second place box? I don't think so. But we're gonna get totally wrecked right there. We got double bananas. Quite a bummer right there because I actually hit the box, uh, you know, before I got wrecked with that green shell. But I'm gonna get wrecked with this green shell. Yep, definitely gonna get wrecked with that green shell by Baby Daisy. The babies are on the rampage right now. I mean, totally makes sense of how the kids these days are behaving, right? But here we go, we have a Mega Mushroom that will actually save me from that uh, Lucky 7 action, whoever did that. And looks like we are gonna be finishing in 5th place since the top 4 literally got a breakaway right there. Quite unfortunate for us, but okay, we'll be placing 5th place. We got 8, 000, uh, 854 points. I mean, should be enough for 5 stars since this is a very, very short track. And 7,900 points for 5 stars, that's actually very close. And 15 coins as well. And TCP for today is going to be 1,000 coins. Alright, not too bad, I can always come back later to boost my score if I want to. But now let's jump into the free pipes for the second week here. So let's see the first free pipe. Green pipe as always, and this will give us Fire Braille, alright. The super is better than normals, one of eight level six. And the second free pipe will of course be another green pipe, so we're not lucky with the free pipes this tour around as well. And this free pipe will give us Lemmy, which is already maxed out, so 400 coins. And let's open up the tour gifts as well. It's gonna be 1,500 coins in total. And here we have the second uh, week Torch challenges sheet. Those are some of the uh, you know the missions that you can complete for this week. And here we have this week's Rand Cup, the Kamek Cup. We have Singapore Speedway, Sunset Wilds, and Singapore Speedway RT. And that will conclude today's recording part. I will see you guys tomorrow for Neo Bowser City with Pauline. Alright guys, we're back here today with another intermission clip. This is where I am going to be finishing off all the multiplayer related missions in the, you know, the Tour Challenges sheets and stuff. So, Tour Challenges 2, we're gonna start off with that. Do 100 jump boost, that's gonna be one row done in the second sheet. And join 10 multiplayer races, one ruby. And that's of course gonna conclude our Kart Pro Challenges sheet for this tour. Of course, each row will get you 300 coins. And by completing the overall sheet, we'll get you an amount of rubies, which is going to be depending on your tier. I will be getting 21 rubies since I'm in S plus tier. And of course, we are also going to be finishing off the Tour Multiplayer Challenges with those three hits with bar bombs uh, in multiplayer, as well as cost opponents to crash 30 times in multiplayer. So each row in this sheet will of course get you 50 coins, which is the usual ones. And completing the whole sheet will get you... 5 rubies. And that's about it for this one, back to the main recording. Alright guys, we're back here today for another recording part. It is the 20th of January, today is Thursday and looks like we'll be getting our next tour preview today instead of uh, the usual Friday. So it's gonna be the Wario vs Waluigi tour as I mentioned in the first episode really from the leaks. So now let's see the early preview for the Wario vs Waluigi tour team rally. So in the next tour you'll choose to be on either Team Warrior or Team Waluigi to compete against each other. Each Team Soccer Collective will be converted to one team point, which is the, the basics of the team rallies. And these are the team members for each team. We have Team Warrior, we have Wario, we have Donkey Kong, we have Bowser's, Mario's, we have King Boo, we have Dry Bowser, Rosalina, etc. And of course in Team Waluigi, we can see the Koopa Links, we have the Yoshi's, Peach, uh, Koopa Troopas, Luigi's, and of course Waluigi and Toad himself. So Team Waluigi definitely have the more team member count in his teams, but 
we can have we can take this time to actually think of which team we want to join in the team rally but here we go we have today's challenge we have pauline cup 3ds new Bowser city we have pauline we have the pumpkin cart as well as the dry bowser umbrella all right we're gonna start off with a fifth place box and let's see what we can get from here and uh, we're not gonna get the mini turbo right there unfortunately but I'm gonna get that uh, what do you call it the slipstream and I'm gonna be going into first place of the bat so first place box right here this is gonna be a single banana and two coins and this track definitely is very very you know bendy I would say or very very uh, turn wise turn heavy I would say because most of the times if you want to traverse around the the bends you will have to do drifts and some, most of the times the drifts will not get you the mini turbos because of how sharp they are but yeah I'm gonna lose a combo quite a few times right there but it's okay we're now gonna come into the second lap as we glide through the red shell will not get us right there because it takes the regular route since we took the kind of the extreme route going outside of the main road but anyways, still in first place, we got a green shell. As you guys can see, I was trying to stick there, but the mid turbos did not come out because of how, you know, fast you have to do the drifts right there. And now a red shell is going to be coming, so should have not used that banana earlier on. And gonna lose the combo once again. Quite unfortunate. I mean, this track is definitely how it is right, right there. Gonna lose the combos all the time. Okay, the final box, and let's see if this is going to be a friend or not. Nope, it will not. So, I think my Pauline is level 6, and not getting any frenzies is actually quite the bummer. But, oh well, at least we'll be finishing in first place with a total score of around 19k? Or, okay, 18,459 points, and my CPU just fell off the edge. That's very funny to see. Okay, my pumpkin cart will level up to 370 in terms of its base points, 8.5k for 5 stars, and 63 coins. And let's open up the TCP for day 9 of the tour today, and it's going to be the droplet glider, maxed out already, so 250 coins. Alright, so another tour challenge done, let's see what this tour challenge is all about. It's gonna be in the tour challenges 2 sheet, earn a total score of 25k or higher in the Pauline Cup. And one row done, 50 coins. And so these are the missions that I have left remaining, which of course I will try to do in the coming days of the tour. But we're gonna go on and open up the available tour gifts. It's going to be 3,000 coins, one normal Goddess Club ticket, as well as a super. Okay, so now entering the shop, let's see what the daily selects will offer me today. Ooh, uh, of course the car the point boost tickets for carts and gardens, which of course I will always get them even though I have like 400 stocked up already as well as I'm gonna get this cart skill up for supers. And that will conclude today's recording part. I will see you guys tomorrow for the final recording part hopefully on RMX Vernal Lake 1R with Cat Peach. Alright, we're down here today for the final recording part, supposedly, for this final episode for the Singapore tour walkthrough. And it's the 21st of January, it is the 10th day of the tour, and let's just jump straight into the final regular race of the tour. We have Cat Peach on Armex Vinyl Lake 1R in the Pauline Cup. The game also gave me the Ice Dozer as well as the Blizzard Parasol. Alright, so we just, uh, I think after this we have two more races to go, I think it's the time trawler race I think in the previous cup before the Pauline cup and then of course the challenge race for this cup which I believe is VS Mega Roy if I remember correctly. Yep, we lose the combo there, got some weird, uh, what do you call it, uh, weird drift uh, lines. I'll get the blue Yoshi with that banana. And I thought I was gonna get myself on that water geyser to get, you know, that boost. But looks like it won't be the case. But now we're into the second lap, still maintaining this first place lead, which is what we like to see. Unfortunately, no frenzies yet.
Right now we're into the final turn, still in first place, which is nice. Oh, not the blue shell! Not the blue shell! Oh, of course the the item ticket gave me a banana. But okay, at least we'll be finishing second place, could be worse. With a total score of 14,738 points. Oh, Cat Peach clapping is very, very cute. I actually, I've never saw that. I mean, I literally do not have Cat Peach in my roster, so I do not really know her trick animations and such, but there's still a second place finish, 11,800 points for 5 stars, we got 60 coins. And that's 5 rubies from the 10th day today's challenge cleared. Right, moving on to time trial in the Hammer Bro Cup, we are going to be playing as Luigi. Is this Singapore Speedway? I quite did not uh, catch the course uh, background. Uh, background. Oh, okay, it is time trial, so let's go. a good place to use the mushroom. Actually, I accidentally used the mushroom there. But apparently it's actually a good place because actually we really do want to, to use the mushroom there. Because it's actually a quite a perfect place to use the mushroom to cut off that little grass part. That's a tight inside drift, and there we go, 37.44 for our first lap. And if we keep this pace up, it could be around 1.14 for our overall time trial race. So let's see where we can actually end up on. So there we go, 1.14.17, quite the time that I predicted, so let's see the requirement for 3 stars, I'm going to be guessing around 1.25 or 1.30, let's see. 1.20, oh, that is actually quite, uh, quite, what do you call it, quite extreme, I mean not really extreme, I mean it's quite strict, you know, the time limit, but it's, we're going to only finish that in like 5 seconds from the 3 star requirement. That's okay, we still managed to complete that. Three stars, of course. The Hammer Bro Cup done. And now we're gonna finally come into the final race. We have VS Mega Roy. I have quite the number of characters up here, but of course we're gonna go with the characters that will actually have the item that will be useful to us. So I'm gonna be using Donkey Kong. We're gonna use the uh, the Flame Flyer as well as the Parasol. I, did, I do not quite remember that Parasol's name, the glider's name. But okay, I'll take that level 7 parasol right there. And here we go. VS Mega Roy in Dino Dino Jungle. And of course, he's going to be uh, throwing back bombs behind at us. I almost literally hit myself with that bomb. And of course, when in the front, he's going to throw the bombs at us. Oh, got that green shell hit onto Roy, which is gonna be quite a useful thing to do. It will kind of leave us with a little breakaway, but we know in the characters, the CPUs in this game will actually have like a major speed boost when you take the lead. Oh, okay, I got Roy with my bomb and then he got me with his bomb. Okay, that's a fair trade. So we're still neck in neck with each other. Ooh, he's right beside me. Don't want to bump into him. Pretty sure all these... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, these VS Mega uh, challenges actually have like a pattern on when they are going to be throwing those stuff, like bomb bombs for Roy here. I mean, if we're playing against VS Bowser, it could be uh, the Bowser would definitely be throwing green shells or even the Bowser shell. So here we have a green shell frenzy. Apparently, my none of my green shells hit, but he did hit one of my bananas from last lap. Ooh, another great banana. This is actually going to be good for this part right here. Very, very shallow part, or narrow, I should say. Shallow is for waters. Ooh, that bomb. I was very scared with that bomb, though. Oh no, that is, this is bad, guys. This is very, very bad. He has the lead. This is our only hope for a... I am not expecting a coin box frenzy game. Ah. Uh, 
Almost! Why did the game give me a coin frenzy at the very end? Oh my god. That was unfortunate. I was not expecting a coin frenzy in second place via asking this Mega Roy here. So we just ha we're gonna have to replay, but it looks like we're gonna be having a end credit scene first before we jump into that. So let's just uh, go with the flow. And movie credits, let's see some of our stats up, up to this day. Alright, some of our stats, some of my statistics from this tour. Highest race score is 40,099. Shot hits landed 214, well that's a lot. Of course with most first place wins, DS Waluigi Pinball RT. Most race course, DS Waluigi Pinball RT of course. Play time a total of 7 hours I think, 7.1 hours. Wins with most used driver, Pink Gold Peach. And I can definitely tell why, it is because I was grinding on of course the DS Waluigi Pinball RT in the last week's Rand Cup, so that's why. Most of the stats are of course going to be to that, but let's open up the ACP for this tour here and let's see what we get. Ooh, it's a character! Is it going to be Cat Peach? Am I finally going to be getting Cat Peach? Oh, Penguin Luigi. Okay, quite a bummer, but at least that's a free level up of him to level 5. He, has, he actually has quite the number of favorite courses, which is actually really, really good. If you guys do not have him yet in your roster, he has quite a number of favorite courses. So it's going to be useful. So there we go, race in every course of every cup including bonus challenges in the first tour challenge sheet. That's 150 coins for 3 uh, singular rows done and completing the sheet altogether will get you a quick ticket. Oh, it's a coin rush ticket, okay. I think the quick ticket has been moved to the second sheet right here. I have not even completed any of them right there. Where should I go for the... Uh, 21,000 more points to get the 800,000 points threshold. I mean, I'm, I know myself 900k will not be uh, possible anymore, but I'm gonna have to try, right? But we're gonna go back into the VS Mega Roy uh, VS challenge here, because we need to get that 3 stars even though it doesn't really make sense. Because I, mean, I already have completed all the, uh, I already obtained all the tour gifts this tour, so really it will not matter, but I'm just gonna go for the completion sick. As I always do. So hopefully no more last minute coin frenzies. That was an unfortunate coin frenzy. Or actually an unfortunate frenzy to get. In that scenario. Okay. We got double hits onto Roy. So now we have a breakaway. But as I said before. We know the AI in this game. They have a speed boost to catch up. Especially in these VS Mega a racist challenges looks like Roy will not be hitting my double bananas oh my god that was scary okay so he actually takes the left route right there the left side of that ramp I'm not sure if that banana uh, you know, placement was right, but hopefully he will hit that lap in, in the next lap. So he took another route. He's still throwing these bombs. I'm also trying to, to throw stuff at him. I did not mean to throw the green shell backwards. I'm dead, yep. Alright, there we go. A clutch uh, giant banana for the win. First place finish. And that's gonna be an instant 3 stars because I'm always playing on 150cc. And of course, if you actually complete this final challenge race in every any tour, actually, you will actually get to see the end movie credits again. So I'm just gonna skip this, and we can skip right. Yep, definitely, we can skip right there. We've already seen it previously, so I don't think any none of the stats will change because I only literally just replayed the uh, the challenge race. So there we go. All tour gifts unlocked with the Glider Skill Up high end ticket for the final one. Coming into the shop, I have almost 200 rubies. Um, 
I'm gonna go on and of course get these tickets first. Oh wait, I'm, I don't want I don't wanna get that ticket. I'm gonna go with this item ticket. I have 1.2k saved up already. I'm gonna go with this driver's club super ticket as well. And fast forward, let's go. I'm gonna get all these And alright, that's all of the tickets and items in the token shop for this store. I really need to, uh, you know, let the developers to actually kind of add a, you know, buy in bulk feature for this token shop. I mean, it's really exhausting, especially to like buy the coins or the item tickets. I mean, there are 10 of them each, so it's going to be like wasting your time or it will take up most of your time just to actually just retap that buy button for those part. But anyways, I think I want to do a few more of pipe pulls. Actually, I wanted to uh, do pipe pulls on the Pauline, uh, the Pauline pipe, which just ended apparently. I, I wanted to do that pipe pulls, but okay, I guess I'll go with the pipe pulls for Singapore pipe. Uh, let's go with one ten times for Singapore pipe two, and let's see if this is gonna be a gold pipe. Let's hope for a gold pipe. It's a green pipe, so maybe we don't. We we're not sure if it, there's gonna be high end hiding in this, but let's see. All right, dry bones. We got the green kitty card, 12 of 14, level 5. We got Roy, 11 of 20, level 6. Red kitty card, 12 of 20, level 6. Was it level 5 or level 6? Bowser, level 7 already, so maxed out more coins. Mortem coins. Perna Planet Pearl Fall, 6 of 20, level 6. And Baby Peach, 11 of 20, level 6. As well as the Perfoil. And the Piston Glider. Okay, so not lucky with that pipe. I'm gonna go with Singapore Pipe 1 right now, hoping to get a uh, Luigi Vacation. Okay, green pipe, not lucky. But let's see if there's gonna be high ends in here. So we have Topico off the bat. We got Ludwig, we got Baby Peach, we got Pipe Buggy, we got Luigi, we got Koopa Dasher, we got Ludwig again, Pipe Buggy again, Wendy, 10 of 20 level 6, BBIA Parafoil, and that's it. Quite a bomber pipe. I'm gonna pull another 10 for this first pipe. This is gonna drain all my rubies this tour. I mean, I think I can save up more next tour because next tour will not really catch my eyes for the pipes, I guess. So we have Pipe Buggy in the first off. Red Kitty Cart, 13 of 20 level 6. We've got another Red Kitty Cart, 14 of 20 level 6. Koopa Dasher, Dry Bones, Mario, more coins. Droplet Glider, Baby Rosa. Red Kitty Cart, 15 of 20 level 6. That's 3 already. Baby Mario, and that's gonna be about that. More coins, loving to see most coins. So this is gonna be the final 10x pull. Okay, another green pipe. So this is really unfortunate. We do not like these 100 pipes because they are most of the time they will, the, you know, the spotlights or the high ends will be at the very bottom, which is gonna be quite a bummer. Maybe Peach right there. Ooh, okay. So at least we got a new card, the Roaring Racer, which is of course a spotlight card for this pipe, specifically and the debut for this card in this tour, which is nice. Okay, we got that. At least that's something. Egg one, two of four, level four. Baby Rosa, Droplet Glider, Shy Guy, and Baby Mario. All right, so at least we got one new high end, which is nice. And gonna finish off my remaining three. Uh, no, I mean like three pulls onto this pipe right here. Why I'm not pulling the second pipe is this because I make uh, I kind of have like most of the items in that pipe, so that's why I'm not pulling for the second pipe. I mean, I already have a Luigi Painter and Luigi Builder. I kind of want to go for Luigi Classic, but I guess it's not kind of worth it. So I'm just going to go on and fully empty up this pipe, the first pipe. And let's hope for the best. Okay, question mark block and final pull. Will this be a gold one? Okay, nope. Looks like we're not lucky to get a Luigi Vacation. And yeah, that's gonna be about that. So it looks like there's gonna be no announcement today. Since we've kind of already gotten the announcement yesterday. But if I were to add more, uh, you know, 
uh, recording parts to add into the announcement i will do so in the coming days but yeah, until then that, thank you so much for watching we will see each other again uh next week on wednesday which is going to be the 26th of january where we will start the another team rally which is going to be the wario vs waluigi tours Alright guys, so as I was talking about the announcement earlier uh, in the main recording and yeah, apparently there is. Today is Monday the 24th of January and we have another announcement on the Team Rally that will be starting in just two days time. So the Team Rally starts soon. These are the items you can get in the next Team Rally. So I think it's, they are talking about the, uh, the shop stuff and the badges. So yeah, the badges here of course the winning team will be rewarded with a corresponding badge. Which of course, if you if Team Wario wins in the end, of course it will be a gold Wario badge. If Team Waluigi wins in the end, it will be a gold uh, Waluigi badge. And if your team doesn't win, it will still be a badge, but it will be silver. That is the only difference in the perspective of badges. But then uh, some other rewards include 15 rubies and 3,000 coins for the winning team, and for the losing team, only 10 rubies and 1.5k coins. So not that bad if you are on the losing team. It's just you are not getting the extra 5 rubies and half more coins in its originality of it of it, when you win. So yeah, there we go, the badges right there. And for the token shot, we can see we can get Wario, the Wild Wing, I think that's the Wild Wing. Or not, it's the Swift Jet, I'm not too sure how to differentiate those. As well as the Star Shoot, we have Waluigi, the Bruiser, as well as the Black Rainy Clouds, I guess? Or the Rainy Clouds. I'm not too sure what's the name of that, but yeah, there we go. And let's check out the trailer for the Wario vs Waluigi tour. Alright, so there you have it. There is the trailer for Wario vs Waluigi's tour. And if you guys actually also watch the you know the team introduction videos that was posted on the social medias of Mario Kart Tour, you can see that there is gonna be a new track coming in, which is gonna be 3DS Wario's Shipyard, if I am not mistaken. So yeah, finally a new track. We don't really get to see new tracks in the team rallies. I mean, it really happens to get a new tracks uh, in team rallies. But okay, also the winter celebration will be starting in the next tour and will be held across three consecutive tours. So we're gonna have to, I think, more info on this uh, winter celebration will be coming when the tour starts on Wednesday. So, uh, actually I actually also have a few more other clips for you guys and we are gonna be going into that right now. All right, welcome to the first uh, bonus clips for the Singapore tour. So we're gonna jump into the coin rush race for the Singapore tour. Of course, we're gonna be playing in, of course, Singapore Speedway. And I kind yeah I kind of do forgot to play in the main recording previously as we were about to close out, but it's okay anyways. We are here for the coin rush race. Looks like starting off we're gonna be forced to go towards the left side right there, and then going to the right side. Gonna do some weird shenaniganery uh, drifts right here, and then ooh, red shells. And now we're gonna go on into the cannon. All right, there we go. I did not get the trick of that and ooh, I really like how they actually did this part here. The coins kind of form like some sort of an archway uh, with the you know the swimming pool floats I guess, the floats, the floaty things uh, using it as the kind of the base of the arch. And now we're back down here onto the main road and we're just about to finish this coin rush race and there we go, just right there and 402 coins that will double up to 804 so pretty much this their usual number of coins that you can obtain from these coin rush races all right there we go 804 coins and i think that's gonna be one of the tour challenges done uh, coin rush uh, race in tour challenges two sheet and that will also completely complete the second sheet of the tour challenges that will if you complete everything you will actually get a quick ticket. 
right there. And here is when I was able to get a high score on one of the races and 800,000 points, 1,000 coins, 10 item tickets. And apparently I got 5 rubies from one of the today's challenges pipes and let's go on and open another one of the Singapore Pipe 1 pipe. And it's gonna be a green pipe unfortunately so we're not really lucky with the pipe pulls this tour. And it's gonna be the BBIA Parafoil. Alright, so those are some bonus clips for you guys where I just, you know, completed a coin rush. I literally forgot uh, to do the coin rush <laughs> actually in the main recording. And of course, I completed some of the other challenges through, you know, the, the coin rush stuff or Aru race or something like that. I'm not too, I do not really remember because I actually did all those record, you no know, recordings, clips, uh, over the weekend last time but anyways that's gonna be about it the real ending here for this episode here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys on wednesday for the wario vs waluigi tour